God bless you officers. Hold on, man. You guys got an appointment. Here you go. You know Jesus? You know Jesus? Hey Amen. I gotta switch my tracks. Let me give you something that's a words of encouragement. Appreciate it. You know, just just to warm up. I should have had my tracks in better condition. God bless you in Jesus' name. I'm always praying for the police. Thank you. Amen. You, you're welcome. Thank you for your service. Yeah. Tell me a yes. So, I'm basically a. Uh -huh. a, a, a hey, felon. God bless you. I'm an ex felon. I did 15 years. Okay, Jesus still loves you. Listen, I know he did. He always did. He yeah. Always did. And that's still. He will. He always will. He's always been there. I've always been there for him. Uh huh. I changed my life dramatically. You changed your life? Dramatically. How did you do that? I'm tired of being the guy that hates, hates, hates. Now I'm the guy that wants a hug. I accept you for who you are. I can always go back to the guy I was. Or he's a new guy. Love the man next to you because he's gonna love the man next to him. Be, be an example. And I'm around the people that I always were. Believe it or not, I'm changing their lives also. And lately I've been trying to like you Are know, you I got a question for you. Where did you get that part about you from? Changing my life? Yes. I've noticed that this man is trying to become a good person, but without Christ. He's trying to do it on his own. So now I attempt to challenge him on that particular subject because this is usually how we introduce Jesus to people. We get them to understand that their way is not the right way. There's something, there's something bigger. Uh huh. There's something bigger and greater than me and you. Uh huh. Why I'm here. What's his name? You don't know yet. You got the Bible? It's, no, it's God. It's God, but do you have a Bible? I have the Bible, the Quran. Uh oh. Uh, the uh oh. Now look at it, I did 15 years. I know. So I studied pre flood civilization, ancient religions. So you know about the Nephilim, the fallen angels. Now, that's, I'm, I'm a, I'm a ancient alien theorist because I believe that we were put here, we were here, but our genes were spliced. That we're not. I'm not saying there is no God or anything. Like, if you look at the Bible, then you can look at texts from ancient Samaria. Huh? You look at texts from other civilizations that were here ten thousand years before us, for Jesus and everything. Those texts that were written before that, they were rewritten. Let me explain something to you. When you meet people like this, and they begin uh, telling you that they have studied. I love you, man. For years, God studied God. about ancient yeah. aliens, studied about the Quran, studied about Buddha, studied about mathematics, studied about the universe, studied about tying their shoes backwards. Now we understand why this is another tactic on how Satan can keep people into bondage. Because if I can feed you different things that have nothing to do with God, then it will crowd it will crowd up your imagination of what you think would be of God. It will cloud it up. And so as you are trying to find answers, what's happening is you're walking farther and farther and farther from God. All we need is God's word. I have nothing against the next man, guy number two, who wants to study about different things. But we must be grounded in God's word. When we start loading ourselves up with all of these different things, these cultures, these imaginations, these religions, these, we're not able to focus on God. And that's what Satan's objective is. That's his mission, to make sure you don't focus on God. Are you living for Jesus? Because how does a, a tree stay rooted? It stays rooted by the soil. Not by the fact that the tree is able to stand up. No, the roots help the tree stand up. Every person is like a tree. If you're not rooted, you're going to fly away. Who do you pit first in your life? Myself. Now, I want you to understand something. Ignoring God leads to an empty life. We can try to fill our lives with different things, but 
because we were created to God's image, we will long to be with God. Like eventually a watch will have to be taken back to the manufacturer to be fixed because when something goes wrong, only the manufacturer can fix it. That's why we can't find happiness outside of God. The stronger the distances between us and God becomes, the more lost we are. The greater the distance between us and God, the more conflict we have within ourselves. Brother, I love you. I love you, man. What's up? God want, loves you. I want you to teach me how to help people. I hope you're not recording. I, can, I can't teach you. I will. No, you're not going to teach me. I can't teach you, but only God can teach you. I can only tell you. I, God I does the teach you. I'm not going to tell people what to do. I'm going to tell them what I do. Okay. I, so I, I want to I want to start some sort of... I, I started writing a book, and I want to start doing a... a What's your name, a, by the way? Podcast. God bless y'all. You, you guys look healthy. Thank you. Thank God. Man, Finally. beautiful. Finally. Yes. Yes. Finally. So I came up with it with uh with an aspect what and what I want to do is I want to instill something in people. All right, our generation, I'm 47. You forgot what it was like to be a kid, so you're not focused and you're not looking and you're not at that mindset. See what your kids are doing. Uh -huh. So I came up with a uh, an idea. Let me wear the black eye for you, because I already did it. Do you know Jesus? You said you studied the Bible, so you yeah. would know who he I is. I went to catch school over to 12th grade. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. So you, do you know Jesus? Yes. If you know Jesus, are you living for Jesus? It's kind of weird. I'm, 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 I, I challenge everything and I question everything. My, my uncle's a very, very well-known priest. Uh -huh. And when I finally went to him and I said, you know what? I, 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 this all both. He said that's what God wants. God don't want drones. He don't want zombies. He wants you to question. He wants you to yeah, faith. That's how faith? we grow. Yeah, it's faith is what blind hope. Faith come by hearing. Okay, the word faith. of God says, Go "Faith come by hearing, oh. hearing by the word of God." So when I ask you, who do you pick first in your life? You say you. I do. If you are a man of God, you pick God first. I'm, listen. Now I'm not saying that no, you no, didn't I'm say not, that, I'm but not, what I'm yeah, saying is no, that's how I'm God. Wrong answer, bad answer. No, 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 no. Yeah, this is how God wants you to be. He wants you to be a man of Him. I have to do what I'm doing now to save my life. So I'm first, finally. That's the same trap that the enemy has people in. We call it bondage. That's what these religions teach. Think about you. Don't think about nobody else. Can I give you something? Be nice to people, be kind to people, but think about you, pit you first. Never look up to a God, never sacrifice for a God, pit you first, because it's all about you. The world evolves around you, nobody else. Of course, religions will tell you, yeah, do as we say, yeah, look up to this God as a guidance counselor but don't look up to him as the only way because remember there's many ways to heaven that's what they say this is the reason why we have people confused they're going backwards they're not going forwards jesus says those who seek to save their life will lose it those who lose their life for his name's sake will save them all right I, god I wants to have a relationship with you right now god wants to have a relationship with you right now can i give you something sure and he does now you ready for this you know why i stopped you I'm not, you know, God forbid, not God forbid, if you walk away from here and I helped you, great. You Amen. know why I put my hand out? You know why I, you know why I help? Yeah, yeah. So it's the same one. You know why I help? Makes me feel I know. You know, you know how you can keep but this? But when we By worship ourselves, we worship, but that's idolatry when we worship ourselves. No, no, I'm not saying I'm not saying that you're no, a bad person. No, not what, at all. What I'm trying to say is this. What I have now, what I feel that I have, I'm not at that level where I can say, oh, wow, all right, I, I'll never have another drink, or I'll never do cocaine, or I'll yes. never do drugs, or yes. I'll never sell drugs, yes. I'll never carry a gun. I'm not going to say that. What I'm saying is, right now I feel good, and I'm not worried about the next 15 minutes. Brother, God can make you feel even better, all right. better than what you can do. He wants to have a relationship with you. That's why we cross paths like this. He wants to have a relationship with you today. You know, it's funny to think, he thinks that we cross paths so that he can help me. 
That's right. <laughs> it was like, no, God's just like, no, I want you to help him. He wants you to go to him for everything. He wants to make you. I never gave up on him. That's Amen. on my chest. I got he wants, on my back. This he, God wants, he wants to make you a new creation. A new creation in him. The Bible says, old thing has passed away. Behold, all things become new. No matter what you have done in the past, God can forgive that. So you can become the best a better way for me to get my get my word out there. I'm not looking to make money. I'm no, looking no. to help people yes. and keep them off the path. That you I want to know how you can I help them? Through God. You want to know how you can help them? That's right. Through Jesus Christ. And you know the only way to heaven? Through Jesus Christ. It's not by being a good person. Good people are going to hell. Left and right. Let me ask you this now. I used to, I'm a very bad person. You can't say I used to be, because I'm still, I'm here. Yeah, because you were born with body. sin nature. I'm you have sinful body. nature inside yeah. of you, just as I do. I've done stuff in the past I'm not proud of, and I ask for forgiveness. Uh-huh. But I did the same things again. You know, Paul said something about that. He said, the things I ought to do, I do not do. Like, he, he's trying, he's struggling with, with, with the flesh. It's a battle with the flesh. I say today, brother, grab hold to Christ. Grab hold to Christ. Jesus is the only way into heaven. Jesus says that he is the way, the truth, and the life. So you're a born again Christian? Yes, I am born again. Not through my mother's as? womb, but through... Raised as? I'm a raised as? What were you raised as? Protestant, Baptist, your mom and dad. What were you raised as? Christian? I don't have parents. I didn't grow up with parents. My, both my parents disowned me. Well, here you go. My mom and dad are dead, so I'm free. Yes, God so, rest her soul. You what know. Do you you? Huh? I want to ask if you don't mind. What? As a child, as a baby, you. Did, did no, I, I, the Holy Spirit discipled me. The Spirit of God discipled and me. Your parents just told you. No, 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 no. My parents were drug addicts All right. growing up, so I had to raise myself through adoption of my adopted mother. I had an adopted mother, but this person did a good job. This person but that, that did the job it. for me. Jesus. You know what I love? Jesus. I love, I love that. I love this. It's not a psalm. It's it's like a parable. It says, you know, Jesus, how come, you know, my whole life, when I walked through, through the water and I was on the sand and I was on the beach, there was always two sets of footprints. How come when time got, when life got so hard and nobody was there for me and I was at rock bottom, uh -huh. there was only one set of prints. He said, my child, I was carrying you. I never left you, I carried you. Jesus wants a relationship with you. Listen, if you die in sin, you're going to go to hell. I got to tell you the truth. That goes for everybody, right? Yep. Goes for everybody. <laughs> the guy going up the steps knows nothing of what we're talking about. But the moment I mentioned that, he's like, yep. Goes for everybody. You want to know why I say you'll die in your sins without Christ? Because the Bible says the wages of sin is death. That's the reward of sin, death. That's where all these people are going if they deny Christ. Now, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever shall believe in him shall not perish, but so have you, you everlasting Bible, life. Word word? Yes, I live by the word of God. Now, that's I'm not it. a perfect person, no, though. I'm not, that's, I'm not a perfect that's person. Great. That was the best thing I could have heard. Because I still have to repent of every course. day, and not repent every day. All right, yeah, down the block. Okay, there's a smoke shop right Sorry over. Sorry about that. Okay, same way. Right on this side. Right by that light. My friend, you believe in Jesus Christ? Uh, Jesus? Jesus Christos? Take it. Just Please. read it. Just read it. Just read it. That's all. It, it doesn't hurt. Just read it. Just read about Jesus and how much he loves you. That's all. Okay. Don't ask that. What? Miguel. Nice to meet you. Alex. Alex, how are you? Alex. God bless you. You on your way somewhere, but God wants you to read that. Yes, read it. You speak. I lost my face. That's okay. You lost. You, you lost your faith. Yeah. Oh, this is a double for. Well, hey, well, hey, man. You know, Listen, Luke, let me tell you something. He's always here for you. I lost. I lost my way in Christ, to Christ so many times. Right Can you give me a card? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Look at me, Alex. Mucho bueno. Mira, you don't lose faith. Sometimes you get no, sidetracked. 
God bless you. That road is still there. God bless you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Jesus. Yes. I like this. Yes, we met again. Yes, we did. How you doing? Good, good. Good, good, good. Yes, I am. Yes. Brother Joss? Huh? Jokas. Jokas. Jokas? Yes. Hey Amen. Look at this. The Lord is bringing us all together right now. Hallelujah. <laughs> Claiming the promises. Yes. I'm going to take a look at this. Yes, yes. I'm going to read this. Praise the Lord. Now, I want you guys to understand something very clearly. I want you guys to understand something very important. Because every time street ministry is being conducted, any type of street ministry with speakers, passing out tracks, the enemy is always going to show up. It depends on what the conditions are. Because sometimes the enemy can show up to try to destroy the ministry, or he can show up to try to sabotage the ministry. He'll show up. I want you to understand who that person is that I was talking to. They said, hallelujah, praise the Lord. But you're going to find out who exactly that is. Yeah, I'm on my way to, uh, to Indian Square to preach. So if you ever have time, just stop by over there. You know, on the corner of Nork and, uh, Nork and JFK. I'll be over there soon. Well, Preach. Near uh, White Castle. White Castle. White Castle, yes. Uh, around Sutton? Right now. I'm heading there right now. Oh, okay. So you're more than welcome to listen to the word over there, you know. I was ministering to this brother over here. His name is Alex, and uh, he, he, he doesn't have a relationship with Jesus yet. Now, here's something I did not know. The man with the beanie knows the man that I was talking to. Right now. I'm there right now. So I didn't know that they already knew each other, but just keep watching because he's going to mention something about chakra and watch the other man's reaction. Yeah. So we're, we're telling him about about our Lord and Savior. Can I put this on your pizza? Amen. Praise the Lord. Yes. 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 I know who you are. Yeah. I need help with my chakra. Huh? I know who you are. Yeah. I need help with my chakra. Huh? Pit two and two together. The man with the beanie does spiritual witchcraft. And that's why the man, the bald headed man, was like, Oh, I know who you are. I need help with my chakra. And look at the positions that he's doing. Look, look at the pose. That he's doing now i didn't catch this on camera and i was very upset about it but i saw in the corner of my eye the guy that i was talking to gave the shh noise he was like shh i don't think the camera can pick it up i'll run it by one more time i know who you are yeah. i need help with my chakra huh but he said shh be quiet don't speak about that why because a real man of god is present and he is being exposed accidentally. But you see, that's how God does. He reveals things. And when I saw that, I was like, oh, Lord, there's someone here that is working in the enemy's camp. Spreading around. He's spreading around tracks called Wheel of Prophecy of God and this and that other. He's spreading tracks out, but he's also doing this. He's doing the serpent's bidding. This is the reason why it's so important to make sure that we know who we are in communication with and who we are in association with, because there's a lot of people who are in the church who are also working for the serpent. God bless you. Yeah. So, Amen. What are you doing? This is what happens. Take it. Yeah. Alex is good reading material. Yeah. So when you I need to be friends, filled with the Holy Spirit, brother. Two countries from France. Oh, you from France? So when I was his age, when I first got, when I got out, I, I learned how to cook. I thought no, I no. a Watchman. God bless you. God, God bless you, God, you too. God, God bless you, brother. Yes, Thank Watchman. You. Like Ezekiel in the Bible, when he warned, God sends the Watchman to yeah, warn right. the people of judgment. That's my job. I go to warn people. Like, I'm serious. But huh? why are you are looking like a policeman? Or? Because I have to wear body armor because people have tried to take my life. You know where he They tried goes? to kill me. He goes right. and speaks the word of God in the places where nobody else will go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Back that up. Did you just hear what he just said? Listen to, listen to it again. You know where he they tried goes? to kill me. He goes right. and speaks the word of God in the places where nobody else will go. Did you just see what just happened? This man said something I never told him. 
I never told him that I go to places where no one goes. God revealed that to him. To where it really needs to be said. What's up? Amen. God bless you. My uncle. I'll see you in a little while. Thank you. Right. God bless you. Amen. Yeah, God bless you, man. Just look at the information. Okay. Okay, good. Thank you. You're welcome. And hopefully you'll come back to Jesus. Yeah, I hope. Come back to him. He loves you so much. Amen.